What's up, UHS hardware fans? It's me, Louie, here today inside the UHS studio, working on how to on the X Horse Condor XC Mini Plus 2. I'm gonna be showing you how to unbox, set it up, update, and go through an overview of the menu and some of the things that they've put inside this machine. First, unbox from the packaging. You have the X Horse Condor automatic key cutting machine, as well as the quick start guide. The device instructions and certifications. A two-sided M5 clamp for single and double-sided metal keys, as well as high security keys. An M3 clamp with replaceable auxiliary bases for six-cut Tibby keys, not compatible with eight-cut Tibby keys. There's also a two-sided HU100 test key, a spacer, milling cutters, 1.5 and 2.5 millimeter, also two guide probes, as well as a power cable and a debris brush. First, plug in the device and power it up. Next, we're going to remove the protective bands and loosen the milling bolts with the provided hex wrench, then insert the probe into the left side of the clamp and the cutter into the right side. Make sure your probe and cutter are visually even once you're done tightening. Next, fully insert the M5 clamp from right to left into the clamp vise and then secure it in place. Next, connect to Wi-Fi and complete the XHorse account setup or log into your already existing account. Then, complete device binding to connect all your devices together. Complete the intro tutorial. Then select settings, device calibration, and height calibration. Close the clamp fully so there's no gaps present, then press start to begin. Once complete, begin cutting calibration. And insert an H001 test key. Align to the fifth and final mark, flat and secure it into place before starting.
At this point, use a debris brush. It's an Aquila's Factory Mini Vac. It's strong enough to clean up metal key shavings, so you can easily keep your machines free of damaging debris. Dust compartment and filter come right out for an easy cleanup. Just tap it out and go. The Aquila's Factory Mini Vac, only available at uhs-hardware.com. To remove all metal shavings from the clamp and key surfaces, then continue. Next, begin clamp deviation test and select M5A clamp. With the HON66 test key, insert it and align to the fifth and final marker. Then press start. Once completed, move on to the side B. And place the key blank into the channel sitting atop of the clamp surface before tightening. Incorrect insertion or misalignment will result in an error code and a flashing red hazard signal to let you know that you need to adjust what you've done. Simply correct it, read over the instructions and continue. Next, begin motor measurement. Run each test once to ensure proper function and movement of all rotors for all four angles of motion. In order to test the electrical conductivity, use a key blank to ground the probe or cutter to the clamp. A green circle means you have a good connection. Go back and forth between the two to make sure everything is working just right. Now, select cutting settings to see adjustments or setup options available to make the Condor XC Mini Plus 2 your perfect cutting machine.
When you're ready, choose Update in the upper right home screen corner and install updates every time they're available to ensure perfect function of your machine. Once you're updated, go ahead and check out the fully packed and ready to work with key and vehicle lists. If you want to follow along with us or know when every video is coming out, click the bell icon below, click subscribe, click the like button so we know you guys enjoyed what you saw. If you're interested in any of the products that you've seen in the video today, anything from X-Force or anything else for locksmith or security product needs, go ahead and check out uhs-harbor.com. You can also find yourself anything you need in the description below, quick links to all the products as well as descriptions and links to our social medias where you can follow along and know all kinds of things going on with us, including sales, specials, and any kind of insider information you're looking for. Make sure that you leave a comment down below so we can hear from you guys, know what you're thinking, know how you're feeling.